the world's largest entertainment company is about to get even larger. Disney has struck a $68 billion deal to buy a large chunk of Rupert Murdoch's 21st Century Fox. It could have a big influence on the movies and TV shows you watch and how you watch them. First, the big ones. The deal includes 21st Century Fox's film and television studios and its cable entertainment networks. That means Disney will soon have its hands on TV shows like Modern Family and The Simpsons, as well as the studios behind movies like Avatar and Gone Girl. Also, remember when Disney bought Marvel in 2009? Well, that did include some of Marvel's biggest characters, because Fox still owned the rights to the X-Men, Fantastic Four and Deadpool. So Disney's deal with Fox will finally bring these superheroes together again. When the possibility of a deal was first reported, Deadpool actor Ryan Reynolds expressed skepticism about what it would mean for his franchise. There's a good chance Disney won't take up the suggestion he tweeted after the deal was announced. As well, through Fox's stake in the Hulu video streaming service, Disney will assume majority control of one of Netflix's main competitors. Disney will also acquire Fox's international satellite assets including the Star TV network in India, a stake in European pay TV provider Sky PLC, as well as sports rights in several countries. And finally, the deal includes 22 of Fox's regional US sports networks that have the rights to televise live games of professional baseball basketball and hockey teams as well as popular college and high school games. Oh, and less excitingly for Disney, they will also be taking on about $18 billion of Fox debt. It's an obvious question to ask since we're talking about such a big shift in the media landscape. However, a majority of antitrust experts contacted by Reuters said the deal would likely win approval from U.S. antitrust authorities although they said the U.S. Department of Justice may require asset sales or conditions. The deal is expected to close in 12 to 18 months. Disney chief executive Bob Iger, 66, will extend his tenure through the end of 2021 to oversee the integration. Basically, it's trying to future-proof itself. The company plans to launch its own streaming service in 2019 a calculated gamble that it can generate more profit in the long run from its own subscription service. So the deal with Fox will give Disney an arsenal of shows and movies to combat growing digital rivals Netflix and Amazon. Disney has been struggling to bolster its TV business as cancellation of cable subscriptions is pressuring its biggest network, sports channel ESPN. The deal illustrates the huge strategic challenge traditional media companies face and how they need to reinvent their business models to compete with digital, online competitors such as Netflix, Google and Amazon, said Nick Jones, partner and head of technology at Cavendish Corporate Finance. It helps Disney dramatically reduce its reliance on traditional television, a business that has declined over the last two decades. Yes, so far.